Greetings and welcome to this week's Primal Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden, I'm the Marketing Director here at Blast One. We all know that moist air mixing with your abrasive is an absolute production killer. To avoid this, it's common throughout the industry to attach a moisture trap to the inlet of your blast pot. Let's first emphasise that no moisture separator ever replaces or is a substitute for a proper air dryer. Air dryers are the most effective means of removing moisture, period. But even an air dryer can't protect you from this following common scenario. Let's say you're running at 30 metres or 100 feet of bull hose from the air dryer to the pot. When you shut off at the end of the day, there is still some air trapped inside of that hose that will cool overnight, and that can drop out moisture. Then when you start the next day, that moisture can enter your pot. So placing a moisture separator between the air dryer and the pot, close to the pot, helps correct this problem. A moisture separator becomes your last line of defense before your abrasive is compromised, and we highly recommend using one. So, no problem you say, I've got one. Well, there is a problem that if the moisture trap uses a filter. These items do eliminate moisture, but it's an asymmetrical cost to your productivity. Typically, these traps have a five micron fine filter, which results in insane pressure loss. So how insane? Generally, a 14 PSI of your precious pressure. Remember, as a rule of thumb, for each one PSI drop below 100 PSI, you lose one and a half percent of your productivity. So by reducing your pressure 14 PSI, from 100 PSI down to 86 PSI, this results in a 20% decrease in productivity. Basically, losing one day of potential productivity for every day at five days of that 14 PSI loss. You'd probably fare better not using this trap as simply dealing with that moisture abrasive. These inlet filters are great for smaller mechanical hand tool scenarios, but are devastating to industrial sandblasting. Additionally, these filters typically get clogged with high volumes of not so clean air, and that reduces the pressure even further. So what style of moisture separator do we recommend? Should you use? There's two options. There is a centrifugal moisture separator mounted at the inlet. Instead of using a filter to remove the moisture, these traps cause the incoming air to cyclone about, impinging against the inner steel and forcing the heavy moisture to attach to those inner walls and then drain into a lower valve. There's minimal to no pressure loss in this process. Option two, is a standalone moisture separator that uses air expansion as well as a stainless steel coalescent element. The expanding air kind of shakes out the moisture while maintaining the valuable pressure. And then the steel element provides some surface tension which further coalesces moisture from the air which allows it to separate out. Both these systems will pay for themselves in productivity in as little as one week. If you'd like to learn more about the cost of these systems, please click the links below in the description. Thank you for watching this week's Prime Insight. We'll see you next week.